So I have an XML file here that I've just knocked up where I've created just three elements, a two element and a lock element. And the lock element is inline and in my file type, I'll show you. I go to studio. I open up my file type just so you can see what's in there. In my parser rules, I made the lock element inline and not translatable, which means it will put the little padlocks around it. So when I open that file in Studio, any language, you'll see I get this. So I've got 12 segments. Three of them have inline locked segments with those little padlocks around them. So what I want to do is find a way to lock them. So if I close that, oops, sorry, I, <laughs> that was a mistake. Don't close that yet. Save it first, because I need the SDLX lip, obviously. So I need to have a file to work with. So I've got my file, so if I go back to here, you can see I've now got my SDLX lift. Now what I'm going to do, if I just open that file again just quickly, the text inside that tag is lock, because that's what I call the element. So it will be whatever the element was called. So if I start up the toolkit, I drop the SDLX lift in there, I go to search, I say search in tags, in the source I'm looking for lock, and I say find all, and there they are. If I go like that, there's my tags, it's found the segments with the inline tags. So I, I get my guess is you're just looking for the wrong thing. And but anyway, I'll change that to signed off for example down here and just say change it. So I'll close that. If I come back to studio and I open it up again, you can see now those segments have been found and signed off. So if I wanted to just find those segments, I could now click on the filter bit of a workaround I know, but I could say look for oh, where they are, signed off, and then I can filter on the ones with the tags. So you can kind of do a little workaround like that, and then after you've finished you could use the toolkit again just to change those statuses, or just change the statuses in here. It's easy enough, now that you've got them, once I've finished whatever I wanted to do with them, I could now select them, right click, change the status and put them back to whatever I wanted to. In this case they were not translated, but pretty straightforward. So hopefully that will help you do what you're trying to achieve. I don't know if I can stop this video. <laughs> Control. Oh dear. It's normally on my other screen and it's disappeared. Control F11.